We are announcing today a reward in this case for information and to assist our police department. First, we are today have requested the City Council, myself along with Councilwoman Gonzalez, have requested the City Council to put forward a $20,000 reward for information leading to the arrest and or conviction of the person or persons responsible for these two murders. In addition, I'd like to thank Supervisor Don Canavi and the County Board of Supervisors who have also put an additional $20,000 request at the county. So in total, we have a $40,000 reward uh, that will be in place for any information that leads to the arrest and conviction of those involved in this really tragic event in our community. I know that there's a lot of anxiety, particularly for those that are following this case and those that are uh, live in the area. Uh, we will say, and I will confidently say, that our police chief and the police department are doing everything they can uh, to be thorough, to be aggressive, and also to be compassionate with those that are, are suffering and those that have lost uh, people that they know in this, in this incident. And so with that, just to go over a little bit more about the case uh, and to go over where we are today and the impact of these rewards, I'm going to turn this over to our chief of police who's leading uh, this effort, and that's, of course, Robert Luna. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, thank you for uh, being here and thank you for your support. I just really want to quickly, before I get to my comments, uh, introduce uh, Lena Gonzalez, who is the councilwoman of the 1st District. That's where this incident happened. To her left is Councilman D. Andrews of the 6th District, the adjoining council, and standing behind me is Deputy Chief Rich Conan of our investigation section. Uh, I really appreciate all of you being here today. It's crucial to get this information that we're putting out to the public. So as I look at all the cameras, I'm, I know I'm talking to many people, and that is critical because we are desperately, we need your help. We really need your help to solve this case. Uh, unfortunately, we still have very limited information regarding this crime. I'd, I'd like to personally thank our mayor and city council, Supervisor Down Kanabi, and the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors for the support and the, the reward that's being talked about today. We hope the rewards will prompt wit witnesses to come forward. Every loss of life is a tragedy. But what makes this incident so devastating to our community is that it involved a mother and a young child. This, the horrific nature of this crime has had a tremendous impact on our community. On Saturday, August 6, shortly after 10 p.m., Karina Mancera, her boyfriend, and their four-year-old daughter, Jennibel, were returning home from shopping. After parking their car near 9th and Locust Avenue, they began walking towards their apartment. An unknown assailant appeared at the intersection and began shooting at the victims. Karina sustained several gunshot wounds to her upper torso and unfortunately died at the scene. Little Jennibel was also struck by gunfire. The Long Beach Fire Department transported Jennifer to a local hospital where unfortunately she was later pronounced deceased. At this time, no arrests have been made. We have multiple investigative resources dedicated to this investigation. And I can assure you this, that we're going to continue to work diligently and relentlessly until the suspect or suspects wanted for this crime are arrested and prosecuted. You have come forward with information, and we, as a community, are better than this. And, and I'm going to repeat that. We, as a community, are much better than this. Somebody out there saw something. Somebody out there has information. That's the only way we're going to solve this case. We need you to come forward. I want to remind everybody that a mother and a four-year-old child have been murdered. That's not normal under any circumstances. And we believe someone out there might know something. So we need to hear from you. Please, we really need to hear from you. Please call us if you want to remain anonymous by calling Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-TIPS, T-I-P-S, or contact our homicide detectives at 562-570. 7244. I can take a couple of questions now 
if somebody has them? The nature of this crime, do you guys have any information with regard to whether the family had anyone, father maybe had anyone that was angry with him, uh, any sort of vendetta type of thing, for someone to just come out of the blue and open fire like that out of nowhere? We are turning over every rock. Uh, we are looking at every possible angle. And yes, those are all things that we're looking at. And what about video? Any any video in the area of where, you know, Dad says the he video, dropped them off? The video that we retrieved from that specific scene uh, is very grainy, and we're unable to get anything at this time that we believe has uh, investigative value to pass on to all of you. So we continue to look at every possible angle. Were there witnesses there at the time that you've had a chance to talk to? Uh, none have been? come forward to give us information that we feel is pertinent at this time. And, and you talked right, talk about it before, with any, any connection to any gang issues? I know, obviously you're probably looking at that, but any, any gang ties at all connected to this at all? Uh, initially, we don't have any information, information that leads us to believe that, but every option's on the table. We're looking at every angle. Did, did Dad see the gunman? Did he see anything at all? Uh, there are things that the father, who's also a victim of this, uh, observed. But if I can put you in his situation for a minute of uh, being shot at and watching his girlfriend and his daughter being murdered uh, in the tragic, horrendous way they were, I don't know how many of us in here would remember many details after that. Did you talk about that? Were they spread out? Was he kind of walking in front of them when this happened? Like, you kind of describe how, you know, where they were situated? You know what? We have so many questions at this point, and I believe, we believe, as a police department, that if we start putting out specific details, that's going to hurt this case. We want witnesses to come forward and tell us what they saw. That's how we know the credibility of, of people. And if I start giving out specific details, as you're asking, remember this, that our goal is to prosecute arrest and prosecute this individual. And at the end of the day, we're going to be in a courtroom uh, trying to do that. And I don't want to put this level of information or details that you're asking. You're asking excellent questions. Uh, and we will get answers to all those questions eventually. But we, again, this, the reason we're standing here today is we absolutely need your help, the public's help. Uh, please don't let this crime uh, go any longer without somebody coming forward and saying, you know what, I'm not going to tolerate this level of violence anywhere, let alone the city of Long Beach. We absolutely are sickened by it. And about, is around 10 people, how many people were there, any eyewitnesses that actually saw this, this all go down that, aside from the father? Um, there, are, there were people that were out there and were piecing it all together. Was the shooter wearing the covering his face? Or, and you believe it was a male shooter? Uh, we don't have any information as of yet that he may have or may not have. Do you know any kind of, do we know, I hate even asking the question, but do we know what kind of weapon was used in this? Uh, obviously we're looking at uh, specific information, but again, I don't, I, again, the, the primary thing here is I want witnesses to come forward and I don't want to give any specific information about that. Uh, I want to solve, we want to solve this case. And, 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 and I'm assuming you brought out robbery, nothing was taken, right? Is that correct? Uh, as far as we know, no. Okay, okay. With that said, how do you, uh, where does that lead you? Like, what, how does that change directions in what you're looking at as motive and that kind of thing? I'm telling you right now, we have multiple resources, multiple detective units looking at this from every angle, whether it's murder, robbery, gang, I mean the whole nine yards. I have excellent, experienced detectives. I have all the confidence in the world. They're going to get their guy. There was no demand made, no warning to the victims that, that shots were forthcoming. Not that I know of at this time. <laughs>